Hey guys, First and Weather here. It's Saturday, March 10th, 2018, and today is an important day. The models have all come into better agreement with what's going to happen with the system for Monday and uh, late Tuesday. And the general consensus has been that the uh, storm t arrival time is, has been pushed back, and that is bad news for snow lovers out there. Because uh, originally it was looking like this would be a Sunday night event, and in the nighttime, it's much easier for snow to stick, especially in March, because due to that high sun angle um, and temperatures forecasted to be above freezing, slightly above freezing for this event, it would be much easier for the snow to stick at, uh, in the night. However, now it's looking like this is going to be a daytime event, and that with temperatures above freezing, it's going to be very hard for accumulations to come by. So, let's get started. So, this is the GFS model. This model, this model has been... Uh, probably the most aggressive out of all the weather models and I don't want to say it right now because I'm afraid it's gonna be I'm gonna jinx it and it's me too soon but it's appearing that the GFS has had another win over the European model with this system if you remember the GFS has been forecasting the system now for over a, for over three four days while the European uh, was forecasting the system to go right out to sea so again this is another big win for the uh, GFS and let's get started to see what it has to say so this is the zero z run um for the gfs model and there are some bad signs for snow lovers out there so let me get right to it all right so this is 12 z monday and now the gfs is saying we're going to start off with some rain 12 z monday if we look at earlier model runs it was saying that we're going to start out with snow all right and then 18 z we start to see that transition to snow as this pulls out and then this is 0 Z Tuesday, so around 7 p.m. Heavy snows, but let's look at the temperature. And this is the change. The GFS model has been trending warmer and warmer, 35 degrees. It's very hard for accumulations when you, when you have uh, surface temperatures 3 degrees above freezing. Then if we go back to precip and moisture. This is 6 Z Tuesday, so around 1 a.m. And the snow is finally starting to end. But look, what's the temperature? 34 degrees that freezing line just out so again it's going to be very hard for significant accumulation to come by because um again it's just hard to get a snowfall accumulation when the temperature is slightly above freezing and so i feel like this is going to be a big problem for snow enthusiasts out there and um this is really not going to be good for if you want school to be off uh for monday and I know many people have been asking me, Rohan, will we have school off on Monday? Will we have school? Will, will there be no school? And it's I'm starting to become more and more confident that we will have school on Monday because, again, if you have surface temperatures above freezing and it's and you're in the middle of March where the sun angle is very high, um, you're just not gonna get like just forget about any snow sticking on the roads. Yes, you might have some snow sticking on branches, uh, the grass, the the roofs of houses. Um, but other than that, nothing else really. Like the roads are gonna be completely dry, and that's really bad news for students out there. But that's how it's looking like right now. <clears throat> and then we look at the GFS total snowfall. Look at this, an impressive six to eight inches. That's what someone who's inexperienced might say. But if you go to the total positive dead snow change, only about three four inches, and I think this is also too high. And I think these areas right here are going to see the most snowfall because um, these areas will see snow coming in uh, late Sunday night into early su Monday morning. And so they have the best chance of seeing significant accumulating snowfall. And because of that, the National Weather Service has issued a winter storm watch for these areas. While nothing has been issued for our area, our area since uh, there still is a lot of uncertainty regarding the system. And now if we switch to the uh, year, uh, CMC, the 0Z run is just coming out, so I'll go to the 12Z. And the CMC is um, is showing a much warmer picture. As you can see, 18Z Monday, rain still. Then 0Z uh, Tuesday, just some snow right here in the heavier bands. and So basically a mix, a mix of rain and snow, and that's not good for snow lovers. Um, and really just not... Uh, favorable for um, significant snowfall accumulation and if we go to the NAM run uh, again it, it's showing something very similar a mixture of rain and snow and this is not good 
you go to the 3km uh, high resolution uh, NAM model this is this is showing more of that snow but it's that transition happens around late mo uh, Monday afternoon and that snow then ends around uh, 7 p.m. Monday if you look at the temperature though 33 very marginal temperatures for the area all right so that's not good news if you want significant snowfall accumulation and, um, sorry about that I think my mic just fell but um, it's not good news if you want significant snowfall accumulation and all the models have been trending uh, slightly warmer as we head closer to the system so that is a trend we'll have to watch so in conclusion all of it looks like the, the rain is going to approach uh, southern Virginia uh, probably Sunday afternoon it's not going to make it quite far into Richmond that rain will be light and spotty it will probably probably recede as we go into Sunday evening another round will come in um, early Sunday early Monday morning and now it's looking like that rain might hold that um, next round might hold off all the way till late morning Monday and then that rain will change to snow sometime late afternoon Monday and that snow will persist uh, until about um, the, the even, um, 8 p.m. Tuesday, something like that. And um, temperatures will be above freezing, 33, 34, 35 degrees. And so why is this happening? Why are we seeing a snowstorm of this nature so far into mid-March? Well, if we go to the United States, go to, preset uh, go to upper dynamics. Uh... It's not the view that I want, but we'll just go with it. So here you have this big piece of energy right here. You have this other piece of energy right here. And uh, you basically, what's going on is you have this huge trough in the eastern portions of the, of the country. And it's like this. So you have this system right here, right now. So let me make that neater. So, you, so it's like this. You have a system right here. It's diving down, gaining energy, exploding right here, right now new energy right here and that's gonna dive down and shoot like this something like this and the reason it's not going up the coast or it's not going more like this and becoming huge nor'easter is because you have this blocking right here however one thing I want to stress is uh, latest model runs have been making this go more north uh, for example earlier this morning and yesterday it was looking like the system would go more like this but now it's looking like it's gonna go more like this and that's not good news for snow lovers over here it's good news for these guys but for us that's definitely not good news because what's gonna that will wrap around more cold air or wa more warm air I should say as this intensifies right here it's gonna cause more warm air to come in from, um, from the Atlantic and we're gonna see um, higher surface higher surface temperatures and that's why the GFS model has been um, raising the temperature uh, for each model run and uh, basically the more north of a path the storm takes the the longer it's gonna take for a change over to snow and the warmer the temperatures will be for our area so ideally we want a track that goes like this but it's looking less and less likely that it will happen but um, a snowstorm even of this nature is still pretty rare in mid-march for our area and the reason for that is because we have this big trough in the eastern United States right now and let me draw that for you I already did but let me explain a little bit more so we have that cold air from Canada coming we have that um, a lot we have that abundance of moisture uh, right here pumping in that storm and so we have a lot of moisture and we have relatively cold air keyword relatively if this was January or uh, February I would be very excited right now with the system because so average temperatures are about 10 degrees cooler than what than what they are right now and so the atmosphere just isn't designed for a snowstorm at this time of year especially in our area so it's going to be interesting interesting to see how the atmosphere reacts to the system uh, on actually on uh, monday so now let's look at some of the snowfall predictions from the various weather models you already saw the gfs which is predicting about a good five seven inches if this was uh, 28 degrees but again it's going to be above freezing so i think we're actually in reality we're going to see about two to three inches uh, where it says six seven inches then if we go to the NAM arc um, NAM model let me go to total snowfall about it's saying about one to two inches that's it um, and all these other models are still saying um, adjusting anywhere to two inches so I've created my own snow map for our area area excuse me 
and here it is. So, I think in this pink area where the snow will arrive earlier and uh, it will be uh, slightly cooler, we're going to see about 2 to 5 inches with um, higher amounts and higher elevations. I wouldn't be surprised if some areas in this pink area see anywhere um, from si any see uh, 6 to 7 inches in the, um, the higher elevations. Now in this blue colored area, including the city of Richmond, Western Henrico, and all these counties right here, uh, I think we're going to see 1 to 3 inches of wet, slushy snow. So, and let me stress, the, the snow is not going to accumulate on roads. And this 1 to 3 inches is the amount of snow that uh, could possibly fall, possibly fall on the grassy surfaces. Forget about any snow sticking on the roads, it's just not going to happen. Now this yellow shade, I'm, I'm thinking about a coating to two inches at most, um, and I think uh, this forecast, this air, this yellow area, we might go, I might go up in my snowfall forecast. And finally, in this green area, I think uh, it's going to be mostly rain with maybe a few wet snowflakes mis mixing in at the tail end of the system. So that is my snow map right now. This might go up or go down, but um, based off of recent warming trends in the models, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to lower. My snowfall forecast if this trend continues for tomorrow um but who knows i might have to raise it but um that's it for now guys uh regarding the system now let's look at some of the at the longer range so let's go to the upper dynamics real quick and so basically this is let me talk about one more thing so this is the setup for the system on uh, Monday and Tuesday. So you have this big piece of energy right here, and then you have this little piece of energy right here. So you have this right here and this right here. If this was more negatively tilted, where you had this entire piece of energy right here coming together, this would become a monster storm right up the northeast and produce probably one to two feet um, snowfall totals right here. However, that's not the case. This, this thing is not phasing uh, completely. So you have this piece of energy right here you have this piece of energy right here and you have this piece of energy right here so this storm never really gets a chance to rapidly intensify like the storms that did um a few days ago um and so that will basically spare the northeast from any real significant snowfall yet i still feel i still do feel like this area now based off the latest model runs could get a few inches of snow for sure and uh, as we go past that uh let me so go to the 18z Go past that, we see another, we see another little trough coming in for Wednesday. So cooler, the below average temperatures for the area right here, colder, excuse me, colder coming from Canada, and in the west we have a ridge bringing in warm air, and then we have a little mini trough right here, ridge trough like this. So below average temperatures in the um, extreme western portion of the country with above average temperatures in the central United States with below average temperatures in the eastern United States for Wednesday. And then if we clear that out and we go further into time, we'll see that we're going to get more of a Pacific flow. So we're going to get warm air coming in from the Pacific. So basically a mild flow, um, really temperatures not up too much, too much above average, too much below average, really more of a seasonal pattern for once we're not seeing well above average temperatures or much below average temperatures uh for the united states just basically a mild seasonal pacific flow temperatures right around average that is to go past that we get a little trough in the in the west so it's going to start looking like this so trough out here and basically seasonal conditions right here this is march 18th then if we take this through uh, we end out like this so I think really the thing to take away from this is that the pattern for the next few days will be featuring below average uh, temperatures while after that we're gonna go to a more seasonal outlook or um, pattern with temperatures around average and re then we're gonna go through uh, phases of above average temperatures so uh, I don't really think we're gonna see any more uh, spells of below average temperatures but will be mostly seasonal with little spells of above average temperatures mixed in between and so that's it for now guys again for monday i think this is going to be more of a monday night i mean monday day event 
rather than a Sunday night into early Monday morning event, which is bad news for snow lovers in central Virginia. One to three inches is a good bet for uh, the area in the blue, including this area. For uh, Monday, a slushy accumulation on the grass, nothing on the roads. In the pink, two to five inches, maybe six to seven inches in the higher elevations. And in the yellow, zero to, uh, co coating to two inches and mostly rain in the green area. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.